In this section, we will create dashboards from the start. In this first lesson, we will overview the complete process. The following lessons will go into more detail for each step. To kick things off, click on the new dashboard button to start from a blank canvas. This will open the dashboard editor, creating a new dashboard with a default blank title. The dashboard editor interface is divided into three distinct sections, the central design area, the top bar, and the sidebar, which can be positioned on either side of your screen. In the top bar, you will find several useful options. First, you can click on the dashboard's title to access a menu that allows you to edit the dashboard title, switch to full screen mode, or preview your work. Right beside this, you'll find the Add Item button. This is where you can discover and add various charts and filters to your dashboard. A simple click will place them in available empty spaces, or you can click and drag to position them precisely where you want. Additionally, the top bar offers screen size options, enabling you to specify your design layout for different screen widths. Adjacent to the Layout Selector is the Language Selector, which allows you to switch between dashboard languages, ensuring accurate translation of elements such as chart titles. On the top right corner, organization owners can access the Integrate button, opening the integration wizard to seamlessly embed the dashboard into your application. You may also find a walkthrough button to guide you through the interface, a share button to distribute the dashboard to your colleagues, a version history button for reviewing and undoing changes as well as marking a version as published, an announcement button that will indicate when there are Losmo platform updates, and an account menu button for profile and organization settings or signing out of the Losmo platform. On the sidebar, you'll discover several tabs for fine-tuning dashboard elements. The first tab allows you to edit the settings of the selected items. The data tab displays available data sets and their columns enabling you to drag and drop them into your charts. The Filters tab contains parameters and filters, including those specific to individual charts. Next is the Dashboard Settings, offering various options to customize your dashboard's behavior. Don't forget to explore the Advanced section, where you can inject CSS style for more advanced customization. Finally, there's a Comments section and a helpful button with links to the documentation. At the bottom, you can toggle the sidebar's position on either side of the screen. In the next lesson, we'll kickstart the dashboard creation process by adding our first chart.